All right, we got a Q&A video today. So without further ado, let's not waste any more of our time and your valuable time, basically. Let's get into this Q&A. I asked you to ask me some questions on Instagram for a Q&A this weekend. So let's get this started. Thoughts on graffiti on trains, public property, etc. That's a very interesting question. Nobody ever asked me that, but depending on what it is, you know, at the end of the day, if you've not got permission, it's obviously vandalism. There is a place here in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, where you can actually legally graffiti slash paint on public property places but i think it's very cool artwork would i myself appreciate if somebody graffitied my house or you know no not really because it is my property so it's somewhat understandable you know it's nice but it's also it's destroying public property or someone's private property what do you study i don't currently study i finished school about two years ago and i live with my parents only things I can really say that I've accomplished is a pretty successful YouTube channel, a career. Do you go to the gym? No, I don't. No, 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 no. I uh, don't go to the gym. I, um, you know, it's it's the thing with me. I just don't like going to public places. Your thoughts on politics and football like Ukraine, but they don't mention Palestine. That's a very, very good one. All right, so as you may or may not know, if you live under a rock and you don't know about the whole situation in Ukraine, Russia, it's been going on for a few several months. However, the war in like the Middle East has been going on for decades. Uh, I think it's sad on both parts because none of these people deserve the losses. None of these people deserve to get kicked out of their houses or you know flee because of war. I think war is a fucked up thing in the world, and I just kind of wish it just didn't exist. You know, a lot of people think you know if it weren't for religion, religious the reasons or just religion in general there wouldn't be no war i disagree i mean i do believe and think religion plays a lot when it comes to a war definitely no doubt about that different mindset different cultures you know they can clash and it does clash unfortunately in most cases but um even if it wasn't for that there would still be a war because you got people fighting about turf you know whatever the case may be most of the time it's because of a certain religion you know but sometimes it's also about turf perfect example back in the days when my father was in the military people he had to fight off wanted to take over other countries and you know that wasn't because they were defending their religion or culture that was really just because they wanted to steal other people's land country really basically advice for dealing with heartbreak also love your content i'm glad you like my content well a heartbreak sucks you know it doesn't matter how you look on it it fucking sucks i've been through a heartbreak and uh oh man about four years ago actually ironically enough and let me tell you man if you've really liked that person or you know love that person but you find out afterwards, you know, the breakup, they never showed you any affection, never put the work in, then why should you be broken about it? Honestly, fuck that person. That's what I've had to tell myself. I look back at four years ago when I was sad about this girl and now it's just like, damn, what the hell is that shit all about, man? She was laughing in my face when I said, listen, I still like you, this and that. Man, we were young though. I, we were, we, we, I was like 16, she was 15, like, Dude, we were young as hell. And let's keep it a buck. I'm going to be very honest, man. Like, relationships at high schools, they don't last. They never last. Don't know how my mama did. My mom and dad do, did it, but they um went to school together. Yeah, they were each other's crush. And they've been married for, like, nearly 30 years. They've been together. Obviously, no, my parents. Man, it's very normal in a relationship that you maybe sometimes think of wanting to, you know, leave each other. But then it's at the end of the day, like, you've been with each other for decades. Why just suddenly leave? Because you have an argument that you have once in a while. It's a very normal thing, common thing in a relationship. But um, it sucks, obviously, breaking up. And if I look back at it, what was her actual reason to break up with me? There wasn't an actual reason. It was just an excuse that she had. You know, she, she was saying, you know, school isn't going well. I'm like, yeah, no fucking shit, it's not going well. If you keep running through the dorms and not making your homework, what does that have to do with me, though? At the end of the day, I don't have contact with her. I don't have contact with any of my exes. I only have about two exes. My favorite food. Okay, my favorite food at the moment has got to be chicken. I freaking love chicken. Oh my god, the diversity that you can make food-wise with chicken. And I'm not speaking about the vegetarian crap no more. I know, I, I eat meat, all right? I've been vegetarian. I want to say vegetarian for two weeks now. I've, I've been eating meat for two weeks now. Loving it. Uh, I'm going to eat a steak as well soon, so I'm very excited for that. But that's a really, really good question. So I get this question by the same person. You got Zaza? No, my guy. I don't smoke no more. I think the last time I smoked was, I think, nearly three months ago. And um, I'm glad I don't smoke no more because I don't crave it anymore. I feel better without it. And, you know, it costs a lot of money, bro. The devil's letters. God damn. Certain type of strains, they cost quite some money, my guy. Favorite movie? Oh, man favorite like if i gotta choose auto movie i mean that's difficult because you've got different type of categories lilo and stitch is definitely a classic for me the spongebob movie is also a classic for me i don't know 
It's a very difficult one because I've watched so many goddamn movies. Like my favorite Netflix show of all time. Let's make it top three. Number one is Defer for me, Breaking Bad. Like AMC did such a good job on the Breaking Bad. Wow. Can't believe it's like 12 years old actually already. It's so bizarre. Uh, Walking Dead number two. And then three is probably Z Nation. Although Z Nation was funny. It was also like, man, this shit is so long and over-exaggerated. But it was like a comedy horror type of uh, Netflix series. But it was fun. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. I'm turning 21 years old next year. I'm getting a... Uh, God damn, I'm getting old. Why don't you ask your DMs? And that's a very good question. It's got, it's, it's got its reasons. And let me explain to you guys. I don't really DM. I'm not very much active on Instagram when it comes to replying to people. Because there's certain people I kind of unfortunately try to avoid. It's also just, I've been busy lately. That's also like the biggest factor. I've kind of hardly been on my phone. This is the first time this morning I've been on the phone. It's currently 9.41 recording this in the morning. But um, I just don't like answering my DMs. I think Instagram DMing is such a pain in the ass because it's so hectic. Unlike Snapchat, the the screen is bigger. You know, you, It's more zoomed out, meaning that you can check your chats better. And it's way faster communicating. And I feel like most teens and just kids in general, they use Snapchat way more than Instagram. Instagram is more for like the old heads than Facebook. When it comes to Facebook, I don't like Facebook. I despise Facebook. It's it's annoying because you get fucking adverts when you watch videos. At least on Instagram, you don't get adverts while watching, you know, someone's video. You know, you only get ads when you scroll a little bit that's sponsored and maybe stories once in a while. But for the rest, I don't mind that really. Would you come back to South Africa, Cape Town? You have fans here, let's link. No, I would probably never want to go back to Cape Town unless it involves my grandmother. I do, however, want to go to my grandmother next year. But, dude, we got to see time-wise and everything if we can do it. But I want to definitely make that work, definitely without a doubt. Dream car, realistic. Okay, this is an interesting question. Let's keep it realistic, you know. My dream car actually still is a AMG GOA. It's about 50000 You know, it's quite a lot of money. I ain't got that money. Nope, I don't. Believe it or not, the car that I've really been having an eye on lately is the Renault Clio. A fucking French car. God damn, I drive in the, the big Renault. I don't know what. But I really like the car, just how it looks. It just depends how much horsepower it has. Because I can guarantee you it's not a turbo. It's probably a 1.2 or either 1.4. But it will be higher likely not a 1.6 litre. Unless you get the Renault Clio RS. Then it's a turbo without a doubt about yeah, the Renault Clio I really like. I'm just trying to see what budget it is. Because if it's like 12, 15 grand, I ain't buying a fucking car that much money, bro. God damn. Because I don't want to do payments neither, you know. I don't want to pay a car off every month and then pay more than it's actually worth. But that's one of my cars on my bucket list. The first car that I wanted really was an Audi A5 or a Mercedes A class. But all times change. Finances change. Life change. Uh, I got to say most of my income like what i've earned through youtube i've invested in property so you know i ain't invested nothing in cars which i think is a good thing in this case which means at least i keep my money valued i suppose you said you wanted to be a vet real estate agent and park ranger what's the latest job idea business on the farm uh dog and cat business pension basically where people drop their cats and dogs off in the morning five days a week and i take care of them feed them everything walk them etc I gotta go uh, study for that, but that's why I gotta get my car license first, because it's mandatory. And why I say it's mandatory, because, you know, so there's a lot of old people here living in the village. I've noticed these motherfuckers are old. Ain't no goddamn teenagers here, nearly. As far as I've seen, you know, I've been, like, in the village two, three times so far, and there's only old people, which I guess is nice, because it's very quiet. But um, it also, you gotta think about, you know, some people may not want to drive no more, they can't drive simply, maybe they're scared or they just physically can't, and some people don't have a car license, so, you know, for me to be able to pick them up, obviously I'm gonna charge them. Are you looking for a girlfriend right now? No. What's my biggest fear? Death, to be honest. Have you ever gone through a paranormal experience or some shit? Hell yeah. I, I swear to God, I did. Three days ago. A few days ago. I saw something in the distance, like a black shadow floating, I was like, hell nah. I, I, you know, as weird as it may sound, I do believe in paranormal activity. Like, that shit is real. I think ghosts really exist. I think aliens exist as well. I think, well, not mainly, like, specifically aliens, but I definitely think there's a alternative life outside of Earth. Think about it. They found water on one of the planets in the star milk, Milky Galaxy. I think that's definitely a form of life if we exclude bacteria and enzymes and actually living organisms that can mate and actually live like i think that's definitely a thing that definitely exists it's the same with like the sea we don't know what's in the sea 
Like, even till this day, we are exploring and discovering things we never even knew existed. Like, the sea is my biggest fear as well. I don't like sea. I hate it. But this is the video. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I really want to make a vlog with the horse and kind of show you what my day is in the life of a, I guess, farmer, I suppose. But it's been so busy. It's been so hectic. I'm at the end of the day that I'm so exhausted. And I've also not been thinking about it, but my dad and I discussed and we said, yeah, you know, I should definitely do that. I do, but here's the thing as well. There's a lot of wind here, surprisingly enough. We live on the sea, sea coast, basically. So all that wind and all that rain, it drops here, basically, which, you know, I have to do a voice over there. But I want to do like a real lifetime vlog. But anyways, thank you so much for the questions. And if you're wondering what my life is as a farmer... It's hectic as a mofo. Well, it's hectic right now because we're not settled in yet. We still have a crap ton of boxes. As you can see, the bed's not made. You know, background isn't made yet. But it's busy. So see you later.